Welcome to the latest edition of the Neiman Motor We have two cameras running to record the events All right This is how far I'm out. We've got tighter coils now. Not only on the bottom, but also on the top. We have less gap inside the rotor housing. We've got all our coils back, all five coils. One, two, three, four, and five. The same number of battery packs as before, although a little bit drained from the previous video. And this is the current we're drawing. We have negative spikes. Now, I've had a old video I have an old video with a paper fan with about one or two coils and I got negative spikes then. But that was a paper fan. I made a fan out of paper attached to a wooden dowel, something like, or no, a metal dowel or something. But it's way smaller than what I have now and even then I had that negative spikes. This is the kind of current I'm drawing now. You see the decimal point, so it tells you this digit here is the 100th position. What range do we have? We have the 20 amp range. 20 amp range. We're drawing from 0 0.04 to negative. So basically, we know we got up and down you know, current. We got, say, sometimes up to point 0.1, but for the most part, observe what happens in the next 10 seconds. In the next five seconds. All right, so that's the kind of power we're drawing. Now, if I put this camera behind the fan, you can still hear the wind because even air is flowing uh, from the behind. On the side, we also hear winds. Even down here. Okay. Same with this fan, sort of. Still got wind. Side like that, I wish I didn't drop it. <laughs> that side too. So it's about the same power output this fan and that fan. But this one's using very little amps. And you see all these batteries so you're thinking well how much voltage do I have in this system? Well, we can check that. We already have 271 volts measured from the back of the battery pack that connects straight to the motor on then the other side right there. Now because when it was running under load the voltage went down so now it's recovering to its non-load voltage but it takes a while for it to rise. Now when we first saw this so it was a 270 now we can go ahead Go ahead and reconnect this thing. Now, already we got these spikes. Now the spikes are primarily due to the structure of this commutator. 
which is a, a, a hybrid between galvanized steel wire and wire from the ribbon cable wrapped around a plastic tie. The plastic tie is not conducting so it doesn't short out, yet it's, it's, the galvanized steel wire helps, to hold, helps hold the, uh, the ribbon cable wire in place. So this provides a connection to this battery pack that has brakes. It's a segmented commutator, but it's easier to construct because all you have to do is wrap it around the ribbon cable.